Hello, everyone. Today we're going to listen to a conversation between Michael and Isabel. Michael went to the Maldives with his girlfriend and had a nice experience at a five-star resort. After that, we're going to explore the vocabulary and then engage in a listen and repeat activity. Let's get started. Gary, I've been told you just came back from Maldives. How was it? It was stunning. I don't even know where to start. My flight departed on a Thursday morning. We've got upgraded to the brand new premium economy class. How fortunate. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Susan and I were having a blast. We had a connecting flight in Dubai. Did you have a stop over there? Yes, we visited the Burj Al Arab, one of the most luxurious hotels in the world, and the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. To cap off our day, we went for a camel ride in the desert with a stunning sunset. That's what I call a stopover. Yeah, we did so much in very little time. And how was the Maldives experience? The view from the plane was something out of this world. Once we landed in Maldives, we went straight to the seaplane's terminal. Did you fly in one of those seaplanes? Yes, we did. I was Susan's official photographer. It was a 25-minute flight, and it was super smooth. No bumps on the way. We could see our resort, and the view was breathtaking. We were on the edge of our seats as the plane was almost landing. I guess the pilot had great skills, and overall, it was an amazing experience. And how was the resort? Once we arrived, the staff was waiting for us and took care of our luggage. Did you go with other passengers? Of course. We didn't have a private plane for ourselves. I came with other people that were staying at the resort. How did you get to your room? Right off the pier, there was a buggy that took us to the front desk for check-in and registration. And then a golf cart dropped us off at our villa. How did you get around? There were bikes outside each villa for guest use. Or you can call reception to send a buggy. But Laura and I were using the bikes all the time. It was so much fun. And what else did you do there? Our villa had a private pool, so we would enjoy our breakfast overlooking the ocean. We would also go snorkeling right under our villa. We also had kayaks available, which was a unique experience. It sounds like you had quite a vacation. And how was the food? What did you eat? The restaurants were amazing. Having a nice seafood dinner with a glass of wine while enjoying a beautiful sunset was off the charts. It's good to hear that you enjoyed your vacation. I also traveled to Italy and France, but that is a conversation.
for another day. Now, let's explore the vocabulary. Stunning is an adjective used to describe something that is exceptionally impressive, beautiful, or striking. The verb depart is an action verb that means to leave or go away from a place. Departed is the past tense of the verb depart. In the context of traveling, an upgrade typically refers to a change in the passenger's seating class or accommodations to a higher, more luxurious, or more spacious category. The expression to have a blast is an informal idiom that means to have a great time or a lot of fun. In this story, blast is in the I and G form. A stopover refers to a break or interruption in a journey, especially during air travel. To cap off is an idiomatic expression that means to complete or finish something in a final and decisive manner. In the sentence, once we landed in Maldives, the word once means as soon as or after. In this context, the word straight is used as an adverb, and it means without deviation or delay. In this context, minute is singular because it is being used as an adjective to describe the type of flight. So you say 25-minute flight to indicate that the flight lasted for a duration of 25 minutes. In aviation, particularly in the context of flying, a bump is often used informally to describe turbulence. In the sentence, we were on the edge of our seats, the phrase on the edge of our seats is used metaphorically to convey a high level of excitement, anticipation, or suspense. In the context, overall suggests that when considering all aspects or elements of the experience, the speaker found it to be amazing. Take care of is a phrasal verb that is commonly used to express the action of looking after or attending to someone or something. Took care of is the past simple. In the phrase, right off the pier, the term right off is an idiomatic expression that means immediately adjacent to or very close to the pier. It emphasizes proximity and immediacy. How do you get around? is a common and natural way to ask someone about their mode of transportation or how they move from one place to another. When someone asks what else, they are usually seeking further information, suggestions, or alternatives related to a previous topic of discussion. Right under emphasizes that the snorkeling took place directly beneath or very close to the villa. The expression sounds like it's often used when the speaker is making a judgment or forming an opinion based on what they've heard. In this context, quite is synonymous with very or really, and it indicates that the vacation was notable, impressive, or substantial. The word while is used as a conjunction to indicate a concurrent or simultaneous action. The expression off the charts is an idiomatic phrase that means something is exceptionally high, exceptional, or beyond the usual or expected levels. Now, it's time to practice. Listen to the sentence twice and repeat. Gary, I've been told. Gary, I've been told. You just came back from Maldives. You just came back from Maldives. Gary, I've been told you just came back from Maldives. Gary, I've been told you just came back from Maldives. How was it? How was it? It was stunning. It was stunning.
My flight departed. My flight departed. On a Thursday morning. On a Thursday morning. My flight departed on a Thursday morning. My flight departed on a Thursday morning. We've got upgraded. We've got upgraded. To the brand new. To the brand new. Premium economy class. Premium economy class. We've got upgraded to the brand new premium economy class. We've got upgraded to the brand new premium economy class. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. We had a connecting flight in Dubai. We had a connecting flight in Dubai. Did you have a stopover there? Did you have a stopover there? One of the most luxurious. One of the most luxurious. Hotels in the world. Hotels in the world. One of the most luxurious hotels in the world. One of the most luxurious hotels in the world. That's what I call a stopover. That's what I call a stopover. How was the Maldives experience? How was the Maldives experience? The view from the plane. The view from the plane. Was something out of this world was something out of this world. The view from the plane was something out of this world. The view from the plane was something out of this world. Did you fly? Did you fly? In one of those seaplanes? In one of those seaplanes. Did you fly in one of those seaplanes? Did you fly in one of those seaplanes? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. It was super smooth. It was super smooth. Overall, 
It was an amazing experience. Overall, it was an amazing experience. How was the resort? How was the resort? Did you go with other passengers? Did you go with other passengers? We didn't have. We didn't have. A private plane for ourselves. A private plane for ourselves. We didn't have a private plane for ourselves. We didn't have a private plane for ourselves. How did you get? To your room? How did you get to your room? A buggy dropped us off. A buggy dropped us off. How did you get around? How did you get around? There were bicycles available. There were bicycles available. What else did you do there? What else did you do there? Our villa had a private pool. Our villa had a private pool. The restaurants were amazing. The restaurants were amazing. We had seafood for dinner. We had seafood for dinner. The sunset was beautiful. The sunset was beautiful. The vacation was off the charts. The vacation was off the charts. That's all for today. On our next class, Isabel will talk about her vacation that she spent in Italy and France. Feel free to subscribe, like and leave a comment or suggestion. See you soon and thanks for watching.